Hi again, Robert Bell. This is part four of the series of how to deal with office politics. You know, we've seen a few already, sound majority, negotiable objectors, non-negotiable assessment. But this time we tackled the big cheese, the mega mozzarella, the giant Swiss individual. This is the person who outranks you. Now, believe it or not, there are four profiles on royalty. And this particular video will focus on the good royalty members. People who are actually leaders. Then the next video will deal with the <coughs> uh, challenged and over their heads leaders. All right, so let's focus on the good royalty members. All right, let's all recognize the fact that they outrank you in the food chain. You have to appreciate that in any meeting in which you make a presentation or contribution, what are they doing? They're directing the flow of discussion. Most of the people in the room are waiting for a signal for royalty to say, I hate, I like, I'm not sure, I'm confused. Okay, here are the good guys. The good guys who at the end of your pitch or anybody else's presentation or communication will say, interesting, very interesting in fact, and I thank you. And what I want to do is to open the floor for discussion. Goodness gracious. A royalty member who actually is interested in the feedback of others as opposed to his or her agenda? Now, what do you do in a case like this? Well, you are going to plow ahead with your messages. You're going to be fact-based. You're going to impress them with how you are prepared on this. I'll be back to you on this. All right, here's a second good person, good royalty member. This is the one I call royalty negotiable objector. This royalty will say to you, you know, Mary, I really agree with you on A&B. We've got some issues with C&D. Fantastic. They guide you as to what you need to do to bring them on board. And, of course, you're going to problem solve. You're going to modify. You're going to re-explain so that they get a high comfort level. You know, if you get royalty members who are open for discussion with the rest of the group, or if you get someone who is interested in telling you what they need you to address, you are a fortunate contributor. So now, what do you do? All right, number one, you tell them, here are the facts. Here's the impact of those facts on the business or the organization. And I'm really interested in, in identifying whether or not that resolves your concern and gives you a greater comfort level. If the royalty member says, open it up for discussion, you go, excellent. I'd like to add one more comment. That's right, then a comment that will be what? Fact-based, metric-based, followed by an opinion, then followed by evidence in support of that, followed by the impact statement, impact, 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 what does it mean to us, the organization, our clients, the whole thing. And then you ask the royalty, does that help you to feel more comfortable with this? That's right, get their buy-in. Start with the comfort level, then you say, so are we in? You see, you've got to take an opportunity here that's right in front of you. They actually were open to dialogue in a democratic process. Wonderful. Lucky you. Number two, they told you that they agreed with A, B, or whatever, and then they had some issues with C, D, or whatever. And you have an opportunity to impress them on how you're going to resolve that. <gasps> Lucky you. You get to work with good royalty. And by the way, while you're doing all this, the rest of the crowd is watching our royalty and responding to what you're doing. Because most of these people are saying, if royalty likes it, I like it. If royalty hates it, I hate it. Royalty is confused. Lord knows. We think alike. I'm confused too. You understand? Make things happen for your benefit. Royalty can be good. The next video we'll talk about <gasps> the bad royalties. Now, you'll keep this in mind. You'll remember this, you'll apply this, and that's how you will speak and impress. Take care.